Hi there, Merry Meet Dream Weavers. It's Keisha here at the Enchanted Dream Catcher, and I am back with a, another video. I am back with one of my favorite type of videos. I feel like I've been doing a lot of these lately, but I've just been finding some really amazing people on um, online, especially on Instagram that I've been following for a couple of years, and they've started like sort of like. Um, pagan witchy alternative type people spiritual people that have been having great incredible artwork and things like that and I just and then they sell them and then I just have to buy them and then my bank account cries but I love them so yeah so I am going to be doing another unboxing wow that was super weird wow Keisha get a grip so Let's get into this video. Hey Dreamweavers, it's me Keisha here at Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome back to my channel and a another video. If you're new here and you've stumbled across my part of the YouTube universe, welcome and I hope you enjoy the content that I put out. I post twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday and I mainly post about witchcraft, uh, law of attraction, positivity, uh, with a little bit of beauty and life thrown in for good measure. So without further ado, we are going to get into this video. guys so we are back with another unboxing and this time it is by a talented talented person spiritual woman called dreamy moons and her art is inspired by nature i have it's the first time i physically bought from her i have bought a um, downloadable pdf of like journal prompts and stuff and that's like really beautiful but this was amazing and the white light you just can't the packaging is just insane like her boxes her artwork which you can't really see can you see and that says dreamy moons and it says created with love by annie terrasova so you can find her on instagram and dreamy moons like she creates such beautiful she has oracle decks uh, different books things like that that are just amazing so I just love that her the box that it arrived just said dreamy moons art inspired by nature and on the back which I'm sure you can't see because of my ring light but I will read it to you she's actually put things to remember you're divine open your heart and keep it open there is so much to be grateful for nurture in a child rest is important embrace the mystery you can make anything happen now if that's not incredible packaging i don't know what it is and she's put this side it says we hope that your goodies will bring love and light into your life and help you manifest all that you desire and i'm sure that they will look at this be i bought the bundle of um she has the first year i bought it but she has this um planner bundle system rather of like it's like called uh year of growth yeah year of growth so this is obviously for 2021 i bought the i think she still has a couple of books left she's actually based in australia so shipping outside of australia obviously super expensive but her artwork is incredible and also as well it's nice to i'd rather spend more and support like an individual artist than necessarily just buying something that's generic off like amazon or whatever but just to say there's nothing wrong with buying stuff off amazon that like, i buy so much stuff off amazon all the time but i'm just saying sometimes it's nice to support 
when you can when you feel you're able to like independent individual artists and things like that so i bought the two books which i will show you in a second and she also included this free pen it's a wood pen just like a ballpoint one of those clicky pens and it's you can't see because of the light which is so annoying i'm trying to zoom I'm trying to get close but it's distorting and blurring isn't it yeah it is i'm so sorry you can't see it but it's wooden and it says i am limitless which is just so pretty and also as well um she included that's her artwork there she included this pretty little card with it for dreamy moons it says through this purchase you are supporting at rest reforestation and a small artist with big dreams i hope what i created brings love light and positive energy to your space let it inspire you to fiercely express yourself in your own way and see the beauty in everything you encounter. May you always be surrounded by magic and abundance with love, Annie. Which is just so pretty. So I think that's beautiful. So, so I had the free pen. So the two things I bought was Year of Growth 2021 um, Daily Diary, which says on back to Daily Diary with focus on mindfulness, gratitude, intention setting, self-reflection, creativity, and personal growth. Let this book be a sacred shelter, your safe place. Let this book be part of your journey into yourself. This is your year of growth. And it's just beautiful. It's black, it's hard bound, thick, with obviously that's all her own artwork with the gold design, and it's just there's ribbon markers in there, and then as well i think this was new this year i think that may 2021 be the year miracles abundance and joy and this is the daily planner so it says for those who want to achieve all they desire while allowing time for self-care so there's four categories for your to-do list work study personal health self-care weekly and monthly overview daily inspirational affirmation space for note-taking so the plan was obviously this was my big baby for at home for my sort of like uh reflection and um my inner journey things like that and then this was my planner that i would be keeping my handbag for on the go so let's look at the planner first so if you see it's really pretty with the obviously that's just like a page thingy that i'll take off and it's already pretty and smooth with the moon design it's got a um um um, elastic closure so inside are so pretty inside it's got oh my light is do is just ruining this oh well can you see that is distorting the color slightly but it's really pretty like an orangey color and it's got my dreams are coming true before my eyes i am a vibrational match to all that i desire in life i am always loved and supported by the divine i am a powerful creator of my own reality and then it has let's make 2021 your best year yet and it's a comprehensive planner created with how with love to help you improve your organization motivation and time management and help you achieve all you set your mind to while allowing time for self-care i hope you enjoy using it as much as i enjoyed creating it and it features a page per day layout four categories for your to-do lists uh, top three daily priorities weekly and monthly overview top five monthly priorities monthly intentions daily um ps reminders space for note taking so then it has a little bit about her and then so that's the let me try and go seems when i went over a bit how's that can you see anything i think i might have to turn this ring light I feel like my video has gone really dark but I had to turn it off just so you could see because I feel like the light was distorting um, or was, I wasn't able to actually show you inside this because you couldn't see and I don't know how much better it is without this on. Is it any better? Oh, to be careful with the page. Is it any better? I don't know how it's going. There we go. It's a bit better. A bit blurry, but so that's the yearly um overview. So step one, make plans, step two, show up. So it just has the months in boxes. Then goals of 2021 to break it down. So this is let's break it down. So it's top three goals. And then you've got work, study goals, health, 
goals so that's like physical mental spiritual and then personal goals and then there we go and then this side is blank page well lined blank page for note taking and then it has the monthly monthly intention for five priorities so that's like a So can you see that was like a, um, a monthly layout and then each and then there's a weekly overview where you sort of have um, in a vertical format where you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on one page and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the other. A little space for notes at the bottom and then each page is a page a day. So you have Monday, which I quite like. I'm getting really annoyed. <laughs> that's a bit better. So that's so it's sort of like broken down into your goals and things like that. So which I think is quite cool. Um, like to do lists, goals, practice, uh, practice self love by the notes. And there's like different PS's at the bottom. There's like PS love surround you. PS you are magnetic. So each day has a different one. So literally, then it has the day of the week. So it has the it has what week of the year it is, it has like week one, it have like Friday in the middle and then on the right hand side it has like 1st of January for example. So it has each day of the week and it just goes through, I believe, yeah it just goes through the whole year like, like that really. And then you have, yeah so basically has, and it has some more notes pages at the back. And yeah, so it goes right through until I think the last day is the 30th of De 31st of December. And it has a couple of note a few note pages at the back and it's just really pretty and I just um I really liked it. I thought it would be really good for like on on the go. So that is gonna be my handbag planner. And now this big beast is gonna be my my growth is super heavy my my year of growth um journal for home or book um did i tell you i can't remember if i read out so basically for this book it's a week per spread weekly and monthly self reflection and intention setting affirmations quotes illustrations creative journaling prompts weekly gratitude lists lunar phases ancestral events info so it goes pretty inside and it's got this book belongs to look at all the suns and moons um and then year of 21 2021 growth then it has it takes courage to grow up and become who you truly are and that's ee e. cummings so it's pretty quote on two pages i love how it's black inside i really like that then it has um about this book and you know, it has about why daily journaling is so important and then also as well it has about practicing has about practicing gratitude and positive affirmations and i love the flowers there and it has about self love and self sort of like and the sort of um self love ideas which i think is really nice um it has like power about power of the moon and power of the moon and like moon rituals also has which, oh look at the moon look how pretty it is the faces of the moon and it has like new moon about the new moon briefly about the wax, uh, waxing crescent about the first quarter like waxing gizzard the waxing gibbous and um, like you're obviously a full moon a waning gibbous last quarter and um waning crescent then it's got northern hemisphere and south hemisphere um the moon phases for the year so south this side north this side so I should be looking at this side. So it's got all the moon phases for each month of next year, which I think is really cool. And it says, let's begin your year of growth, um, which is really pretty. Oh, that's so nice. The page to quality, page quality is really nice. And it is for the other one. The other one as well has ribbon markers, which I feel like I forgot to say. There's two ribbon markers in both of them and in the other one, which is nice. The black one and a golden colored one. So that's cool, but you can actually um, ribbon mark two different places in the book. Uh, so it has like a, um, has like a letting go 
ritual of like t uh, i guess of like goodbye 2020 and then like most important lesson learned in 2020 like favorite memories advice i'd give myself i could travel back to the beginning of 2020 how do i truly feel about the past year my year in one sentence slash one word and then i love that it's got like a 2021 um bucket list it's got a page of a bullet points you can create a bucket list then you've got main goals like health career etc and then you've got a vision board that you create for the year like it's like a dotted two pages of like dotted grid paper um which is really awesome and then you've got visualize so you're writing about write about your future year in present tense write everything you want to happen in detail how it make you feel and how your life will change then it's got a couple of pages for notes then it's got weekly intention so that's really cool but it's got like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday one side and it's got the other four days the other and also as well it has has like a few sentences um few places for sentences so it's not like super overwhelming so you have each section there and then at the side there's like a little small bit if you like to write your highlight of your day so I thought that was really nice then my week in one word as well and it has suggestions at the bottom and then you have an end of week reflection which I think is really cool so it has like your favorite memory of the week most grateful for notes and then on the opposite side has like week one for example i'm on most excited about my intentions for this week i'll practice self-love by the number one priority slash goal and then each month like it's a, this one's like goodbye december and then it has things that you've learned in december and then hello january and your intentions for the month for number one goal priority so look each month is just filled with beautiful artwork you must find the place inside yourself where anything where nothing is impossible and that's Deepak Chopra then January it has when the new moon's on the 13th and it has about what the new moon it has about the when the full moon is it has the celestial events and then creative journaling write a playlist of all your favorite songs right now which is cool do you have the courage to bring forth the treasures that are hidden within you and that's Elizabeth Gilbert and then you have space for self-expression and then you go back to january that's the same format i showed you and then yeah then each month sort of ends with like a round like you round up the month like what happened in the month and um all those sort of things and yeah i just think it's a really nice um really nice habit like good quality book i'd love to know if any of you've got it like what your thoughts are on it i probably if anyone's interested in it when i've been using it a few months i'll probably do a sort of like in-depth review of what i like what i don't like things like that but yeah i've um i really and also as well i really want to try and journal again properly i kind of got out of journaling not intentionally but i kind of got out of the flow of like constantly journaling so i think this will be a nice thing to sort of i'll keep it by my bed and just sort of day on daily sort of jot a few things down and things like that and then each week i can do sort of more in depth oh hi good morning how rude more in depth um reflection so yeah so i just thought i'd show you as i know like it's the way i like anyway when people have bought like stuff that sort of um speaks to them and things like that i really like to see the things that they've bought and just i don't know it's just nice and yeah so please please give me any recommendations of any like uh awesome books journals um artwork anything like that that you have found that you think that i would be interested in as i'm always looking out for recommendations and yeah until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted Mwah.